few days ago, the Minister of Health, Sage Hanire, indicated Nigeria had started using an antiretroviral drug named Rendesivir in treating coronavirus patients in the country. Hanire made this known while addressing members of the House of Representatives. The minister said the drug had been administered to some patients in Lagos State. To help us understand the efficacies of these drugs, we are joined by Ulumide Akintayo, the former president of Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, the drug was recently given on a compassionate use basis to 53 critically ill patients hospitalized in the US, Europe, Canada, and Japan. In Nigeria, the Minister of Health has just indicated that it's in use. Is this a breakthrough in the search for vaccines for COVID-19? No, not exactly. Not, not, not exactly. Um, it's important to know that uh, um, what you're even talking about is an antiretroviral agent. It, it, it is not a vaccine. It, it's, it's an antiretroviral drug. Um, the quest of vaccine development it's not a tea party. It's something that takes time, and there are specific scientific protocols. You have to uh, so you can validate and satisfy that a particular product is safe you. enough for you. Did you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. So we're, we're not there. We're not there yet in terms of. Uh, as such, for a vaccine, uh, like I said, Rebeva is just an antiretroviral drug. Yeah. Well, Queen is another drug being deployed in this regard. What's your thoughts, knowing fully well it is being used for treatment of malaria? Well, I, I think what we need to talk about, first and foremost, is that before, before you can identify any particular drug, whether it's chloroquine, whether it's hydroxychloroquine or whatever, you have you have to go through the process of a clinical trial to establish the safety of that drug um, ultimately in patient use. Um, it's important to put on, on record that clinical trial are an important protocol and the path to drug discovery and development, particularly when it comes to evaluating the safety uh, and the consumption of any medicine. So, chloroquine, what at best, I'm sure if, if you're familiar with what is going on even in Nigeria, the Lagos State government, for instance, has recently, uh, very recently applied to NAVDAQ to commence the uh, the clinical trial of chloroquine in the management of COVID-19. So it is not like uh, the drug has been confirmed for use in the management of COVID-19. It is also important to say at this juncture that chloroquine cannot also be used today as a prophylactic drug uh, because we have we have episodes of people who have been stocking and buying chloroquine to prevent COVID-19, and we are saying there is no scientific protocol that has confirmed uh, that this is the correct thing to do. So, what do you say to calls uh, to government uh, for them to explore herbal alternative treatments? Do you subscribe to it? Oh, sure. Any, 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 any African, any African, you know, the truth is the preponderance of medicines or drugs we use in the management of various clinical diseases actually derive the original sources from plant, from herbal medicine. And that's the truth. The major challenge we have always had is that a lot of these herbal practitioners are never willing to subject these products uh, for, for scientific protocols. Clinical trials, for instance, comes in phases. The first thing you do is to test those products in animals, and then you project whatever result 
you have uh, to human use before you actually commence the clinical trials using human beings. In fact, in clinical trials, there are times you do not exactly get the same results when you use in a Caucasian population or a black population. So sometimes it even gets beyond extrapolating to human, human use. You right. actually come, for instance, to Africa to find out whether this dog is good in, in the black population. That's the type of what I'm saying. So we must be ready to do this with herbal medicine. But, but, but are you aware of any? Are, are you aware of any ongoing um, research towards getting a vaccine in Nigeria, whether herbal or otherwise? No. Well, I I know that a number of uh, scientists are working at the Nigerian Institute of Pharmaceutical Research and Development. A number of the drug research production units are working. But I must I must sound this loud and clear. Like I said earlier on, vaccine development is not a tea party. In fact, the totality of, uh, of the drug research and development procedure is a Akulian task. Very uh, energy searching, and it is in you must have a deep pocket before you can embark on this. I am talking of hundreds of millions of dollars and billion range uh, expenditure profile before you can achieve this. And that's why sometimes we, we take a position that even if all the pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria decide to do this, it, it will still prove a very difficult mission to achieve. I must therefore again plead with government. Government needs to be futuristic. Government must invest in research and development. It's all right. a good thing that all over the world research is ongoing, and it will be nice because we have some of the finest crop of pharmaceutical scientists you would ever encounter anywhere in the world. Domicile right in this climate. Uh, the motivation time. is that the I'm motivation remains inadequate finance. I, I hate, I hate to interject, but that. that's all time will permit us at this moment. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. You're welcome.